beautiful sound, isn't it? We got to listen to this all night long. The river system coming down. Falls up there. A little bit of falls here. Runs right out. May have to make this an annual trip. So it's time for breakfast. I've got my rocket stove going, cooking some bacon. And Beardo's got his wood stove going, cooking some bacon. And we've got deer liver. And we've got scrambled eggs, regular eggs, and coffee. Oh, there's beans. Oh, we've got beans. And then if we want to, and we're still hungry we've got potatoes that we can cook up so we made it through the night with our hammocks how'd you sleep Beardo? I slept all right I love the hammock it's very comfortable but we're in here inside the military bivy bag and you got your underlay in there and you're trying to get the bottom opening open so you can climb up in it, you kind of feel like a baby kangaroo going the wrong way. It's kind of difficult to get into, but once you're in there and situated, it's good. I hope you don't have to get up through the night to go take a leak. Because you feel like a baby kangaroo really has to take a leak, and her mom's not letting him come out. I only had a little tiny underlay under me, and my back was pretty cold. I've got the zip type. The biggest reason I bought that is because I got to pee a lot through the night. And uh, I'm glad I did after watching Beardo climbing in and out of his. But uh, very, very comfortable. But you really got to figure out what you're you're doing for your underlay because it, it really sucks the heat out of your back. So we're, uh, we're going to have our breakfast and then we'll start checking traps. That underlay I had was a $10 underlay from $10 underlay from Princess Auto. Did great. Held so much heat in underneath me. It's a good thing I had the bivy bag because there's actually some moisture on the underlay. So it worked well. It did its job. Wasn't cold. There you have it. See you in a bit. Well, breakfast is ready. Bacon, liver, and eggs. A little bit more <laughs> liver over there cooking. Quick correction on what Martin said earlier. The stove itself isn't actually woods, just the canister is. The actual, I can't find the name of it here because it's burnt off. Ah, it's on the bag. No, it's not. Where was the name? Anyway. Not right there. Wolf yuck. Wolf yuck. My wife, out of nowhere and the goodness of her heart, I guess, which made me think she probably shot one of my dogs, um, <laughs> bought this from me from eBay. It was only about uh, $20, $25. It wasn't expensive at all. It came with the carrying coach. It came with two of these cups that you can use as a bowl or you can use as a cup. Came with this nifty little ladle that uh, that we've been getting uh, our use out of on this trip. Uh, it came with the stove in that little container. It also came with a little wire saw, which we haven't used yet, but I'll, I'll give it a go in a little bit just to see if it's any good or if it breaks. Um, came with the frying pan which hasn't been great, everything sticks to it. Um, 
not nearly as good as it's it's not ridged or anything on the bottom so not nearly as good as my primus pan um, nothing sticks to the primus pan and this pot um, it also came with a little flashlight in it and the flashlight is pretty bright for a flashlight that's only got one AA battery in it I used it last night inside of my uh, inside of my hammock and it was fantastic so you don't need to have the most expensive gear to go out and have a good time and make it work for you the best stuff to have is the stuff that you got anyway yeah cheap on the cheap well Beardo's giving us a survival saw a go he's about halfway through a half rotten tree this is the one that came out of that $20 kit from the uh, Amazon burn a lot of calories if that was a healthy mm -hmm. tree. Oh, and here's here's the issue. It gets stuck very easy. Stuck. Now notice he's trying to keep that wire straight. If you try and do it side to side, it uh, jams up really easy and a higher chance of breaking. If you got tiny little shoulders, this will ensure that they aren't anymore. <laughs> Take frequent breaks. He started this tree before he started the video to make sure that we weren't just going to waste video time. He wants to watch that. with a friend all the better I think just snap it now it's a matter of principle <laughs> here we go there, <laughs> there's the cut it makes Those rings suck over your finger. Yeah, they got to hurt. If you could. All right, so now we're making our way down, head home. That is probably the biggest witch's broom I have ever seen. Try and get a little bit closer for you. Picked up on it.
Well, our overnight trip is over. I'm going out camping anyway. So all in all, it was a good trip. I had a blast. I had a blast. We saw an otter run by our camp. He saw an otter run by the camp. I thought he was messing with me. But apparently he wasn't. So we hope you liked the, the videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'd like to thank you for coming out. Good time, as always. And we'll see you next time. Excellent.